Why aren't you playing Vanguard? Are you going for Atomic? Are you going for Dark Aether? These are some of the most common questions I've gotten in my stream chat and in my comments. So today we're going to be going over why I haven't played and what it could take to make me go back. To start us off, my biggest gripe about this game is the camos. I personally think Atomic looks sick. But Dark Aether? Nah, so much. But if you've been around the channel for a while, you know I'm big into camo grinding. I've never been too crazy good at the game, but I really like the sense of progression that grinding a mastery camo gives you. If it's done right. In the last two COD games I've played, that being Modern Warfare 2019 and Cold War, it feels like each weapon class is there to teach you and help you focus on a trait that can improve how you play. For example, melee weapons can teach you about movement and positioning to help you outplay your opponents. And snipers teach you to react fast and be accurate or you'll lose all your gunfights. And their camo challenges reflect that by making you implement sliding into your gameplay or having you step out of your safe space to go for double kills with a sniper. And I don't think Vanguard does this very well. It feels like the camo challenges were made up minutes before the game was released. They start out with get X amount of eliminations, get X amount of headshots, you know, the standard, which is fine because every weapon in every COD game has challenges that you can get done just by using the weapon. What I don't like is doing the same challenge twice with the same weapon. On most, if not all weapons in this game, one of the standard challenges is repeated. For an example, here on the Bren, you have to get 50 long shots with it. And then once you get it to level 65, you have to get another 50 long shots with it, but you got to use these specific attachments. Find a build for your weapon that you like and you feel like is working well? Tough titties. Use some attachments that are awful for the challenge instead. This is extremely inefficient and you're better off waiting till you're a high enough level to do both at the same time. Not to mention they have to go back and forth between the camo and your attachments to make sure you have the right queen's barrel on out of the three of them. In the little time that I actually played Vanguard, I would hop into a game or two grinding out these challenges only to realize that I had the wrong attachments on the whole time. This isn't that big of an issue though. I think this could be resolved by adding a button here in the challenge that says apply these attachments to your weapon. You know, that would be an easy fix, right? Wrong. The problem here is that you would all unlock these specific attachments until several levels after you've unlocked the camo challenge. What's the point? You get absolutely no progress until you level your weapon further. Just to show you what I mean, I need long shot kills with the Queen's 775 meter Scepter barrel. And if I head on over to my barrels here, here's this Queen's 775 Scepter. Oh, that's crazy. I don't unlock this until level 69. Huh. What level did I unlock this camo challenge at? I unlocked it at level 60. So, I get the camo challenge at level 60. I can't start actually doing it until I'm level 69 with the weapon. Shout out sex, but I'm angry. Now, this is where we get into conspiracy theory territory, so get on your tinfoil hats. But I think this is done to keep people playing for longer. What do I mean by this? This game added 20 more weapon levels than the previous game, and each level needs more XP than the last. As you can see right here in the top right, to get another level here, I need 3,750 XP. And if we go to a weapon here that I don't have as leveled up, you need a portion of that XP, needing 1,875. So each time you level up this weapon, the goalpost for the next level gets pushed further and further back. And this was done to accommodate all the new weapon attachments, such as slightly different iron sight number four. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm all for more customization, but come on. I know they can throw in a few more unlocks per level and keep the level cap for a weapon at 55 instead of 75. To give you an example of how much of a difference this makes, let's compare it to Cold War. In Cold War, I was able to completely level up a weapon and get gold on it in plus or minus four hours, depending on how well I was playing or if I was being efficient. In Vanguard, it was taking damn near five, six hours just to get the weapon leveled up. And by the time I had it leveled up, I was too burned out to even go for gold. Now, let me give credit where credit is due. They have since adjusted the weapon XP rate making it easier to get levels but for me it was too little too late and also they made it so you don't have to grind levels on weapons that don't have any attachments like launchers or melee weapons which is a feature that I really like and I want to see continue into future CODs I think they did really well on that but even if you were to power through all this BS you'd still run into another speed bump being camo glitches for a long stretch there at the beginning the launcher camos were bugs so you could not even get progress with them so unlocking atomic wasn't even possible until like a month or two later into the game and those have since been fixed, but it has more camo bugs to this day. I've seen multiple posts of people getting a new weapon done, grinding out the camos for it, just to not even be able to apply the mastery camos to it. And that's just my problem with multiplayer. This issue leaks its way over to Warzone, where if you don't keep up with Vanguard, you're put at a huge disadvantage. When Caldera came out, I found myself taking a day or two to grind levels in camos for wherever the meta weapon was at the time, just for it to get nerfed into the ground by the time I was done completing it. Then I just got caught in the loop of 
me going for this weapon, it getting nerfed, and then me right back where I started with no weapon to use in Warzone. It's frustrating, but not as frustrating as the zombies mode as a whole. It was built up as a full zombies experience, a new iteration of the game mode that we know and love. Instead, we got the ancestral product of Outbreak and Onslaught, and it felt like it just had zero direction and was just rushed out to us. And just to add insult to injury, the people that were hyped about the leaked, probably fake, Red Dark Aether camo, when they got the game, they were greeted by the Minecraft Watermelon of Mastery camos. Apparently, it was like an Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare Pack Bunch camo, I can't even remember. But it's the worst Mastery camo that I've ever seen, and if I already didn't have the motivation to go for it, I had even less of a reason to do it now. And the camo challenges didn't do it any favors either. They increased the amount of eliminations that you needed from Cold War from 2,500 to 4,000. They also added RNG to these challenges by requiring you to get 2,000 kills as a result of a covenant, which is something that refreshes randomly every round. And there's only a handful of them that can actually help you get camo progress. And when the game came out, when I was grinding these camos, the most efficient way to do it was to go for your 800 crits and then sit in one event area and melee for the next 3,000 and kills. It was so boring that damn near every time I went to go grind a camo, the only challenge I had was trying to stay awake. Since then, they have made some improvements in the mode by finally putting in round-based zombies with Shinonuma Reborn, which is definitely a step in the right direction, but I don't see myself going back and playing it too much. And I think that goes for the rest of the game as well. The issues I have with this game are too baked in, and I don't see them changing it this late into the game's life cycle. I personally like how the game feels in multiplayer. It's very similar to how Modern Warfare 2019 felt. But for me, gameplay isn't the only thing I look for in a game. Thus why I haven't played it for months until Shina Numa came out. But who knows, maybe I'll get bored and go back and grind these camos before the next COD games release, but I currently don't have any plans to. Anyways, that's my take on it. Let me know what you guys think about Vanguard. Are you guys grinding the camos? Are you still playing the game? You know, let me know what's up. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this style of video. I'm trying out something new. So if you did like it, drop a like on it. If you didn't, dislike. If you're new here, subscribe. You know, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.